number system. Since the computer understands only numbers, it is necessary to understand number systems in order to communicate with computers. We use numbers to count things. Every day, you use numbers in different ways. You count money, see what time it is, score points in a video game. All these use numbers. People have been using different methods for counting even before we started using numbers. Things were counted using fingers, stones and pebbles, sticks, etc. Even when numbers were introduced, there were many different systems and types of numbers. Some have been discarded, while others are still in use today. There are various types of number systems used in the world today. Some of them are decimal number system, binary number system, octal number system and hexadecimal number system. Each of these systems has a different way of representing numbers and they have different uses. Let us familiarize ourselves with each of them. The number system that we study in mathematics and use in our daily lives is the decimal number system. It has 10 unique digits from 0 to 9. The decimal system is the most common number system. This is a positional number system. This means that there are weights associated with each position. According to the exponents or powers of 10, from 10 to the power of 0, the next will be 10 to the power of 1, then 10 to the power of 2 and so on. The value of every digit in a number in the decimal system is calculated by multiplying the digit with its positional weight. Let us take an example to understand this. Say we have three numbers, 647, 269 and 46. We can see that the position of the digit 6 in each of these numbers is different. Let's find the value of 6 in all three numbers. In 647, value of 6 is equal to 6 into 10 to the power of 2, which is equal to 6 times 100, which is equal to 600. So, 6 in 647 is in the hundreds place. Next, in 269, value of 6 is 6 into 10 to the power of 1 which is 6 times 10, which is equal to 60. So, in this number, 6 is in the tens place. Now, let's see in number 46. Value of 6 is given by 6 into 10 to the power of 0, which is 6 times 1, or 6. Here, 6 is in the units place. So, in the decimal number system, Numbers are written by placing digits in weighted positions and their value is determined by their position in the number. Now let's talk about binary number system. Binary number system is the one used in computers. For an electronic machine to understand instructions, they must be given through electric signals. Different digits need to be represented by electric signals of different strengths or voltage. If we use the decimal number system, 10 different voltages would be required, which is very complex to implement. So, a simple 2 voltage system was adopted for computer systems. The 2 voltage system is the binary number system. It has only 2 digits. 0 and 1. Each binary digit is also called bit. Binary number system is also a positional number system. However, the weights for each position are different than those in the decimal system. In binary system, the positions are weighted by exponents of 2. 
the rightmost digit of a binary number is called the least significant bit or LSB, whereas leftmost digit is called the most significant bit or MSB. Decimal equivalent of a binary number is the sum of product of each digit with its positional value. Let us take an example to understand this. We have to convert 1010 to the base 2 to decimal. To calculate this, we first make the equation. We have to multiply each digit with its positional value and then add them together. So the equation is 1 into 2 to the power of 3 plus 0 into 2 to the power of 2 plus 1 into 2 to the power of 1 plus 0 into 2 to the power of 0 which gives us 1 into 8 plus 0 into 4 plus 1 into 2 plus 0 into 1 which is equal to 8 plus 0 plus 2 plus 0 is equal to 10 to the base 10. Now we have learned to convert binary number to decimal number system. We can also convert the decimal number to binary. Decimal numbers can be converted to binary by repeated division of the number by 2 while recording the remainder. Let's understand how this happens with an example. Convert 47 to the base 10 to binary. For this, we will start dividing the number 47 by 2. In the first step, we get 23 with a remainder of 1. This is noted separately. Now this 23 is divided by 2 and we get a quotient of 11 and again a remainder of 1. We keep dividing and noting the remainders. Now the remainders are read from bottom to top to obtain the binary equivalent. In this example, we get 47 to the base 10 is equal to 101111 to the base 2. Grouping binary numbers. Binary number system is very easy to implement for computers but it also makes input figures very lengthy. Handling binary calculations becomes quite cumbersome due to the length of numbers. So a way around was devised by grouping together binary digits. Grouping the digits makes binary numbers more compact because the same number can be represented by lesser number of digits. The number system devised by grouping three binary digits together is called the octal number system. The number system devised by grouping four binary digits together is called the hexadecimal number system. Octal number system. Octal number system has eight unique digits from zero to seven. So the base is eight. It is also a positional number system and has weights associated with each position. As there are 8 unique digits in octal number system, the weights are calculated with 8 as the base. In an octal number, the rightmost digit is called the least significant digit or LSD and leftmost digit is called the most significant digit or MSD. To understand the octal number system better, Let's convert an octal number into decimal. Decimal equivalent of an octal number is the sum of product of each digit with its positional value. To convert 642 to the base of 8 to its decimal equivalent, first of all we have to write the equation. Add the powers of 8 according to the position and calculate the final answer. In this case, it will be 418 to the base of 10. Decimal numbers can also be converted to octal. This is done by repeated division of the number by 8 while recording the remainder. 
Like we have taken an example of decimal number 734 to convert to its octal equivalent. After doing the whole process, we will receive 1336 to the base of 8. To convert a binary number to octal, follow these steps. Starting from the least significant digit on the right, make groups of 3 bits. Add zeros to the left in MSB to make groups if you have 1 or 2 bits less. Now, convert each group to its equivalent decimal number. Next, write all the digits together in the same sequence as they are. To convert octal number to its binary equivalent, each octal digit is converted to its binary equivalent as per the shown table. Like we have taken an example of converting octal number 65 to its binary equivalent. Now we will receive the final output as 110101 to the base of 2. Hexadecimal number system. Hexadecimal number system has 16 unique digits. 10 are the digits from 0 to 9. In addition are the letters A, B, C, D, E and F. A stands for 10, B for 11, C for 12, D for 13, E for 14 and F for 15. This is also a positional number system and weights associated with each position are calculated with 16 as the base. In this system, the rightmost digit is called the least significant digit or LST and leftmost digit is called the most significant digit or MST. To find the decimal equivalent of hexadecimal number, each digit is multiplied by its positional value and then all the numbers are added. So, for example, to convert the hexadecimal number 45A2 to the base of 16 to its decimal equivalent, each digit is multiplied with its positional value. Remember that A is equal to 10. On adding the numbers, we get the answer as 17826. So the decimal number is 17826 to the base of 10. Decimal numbers can be converted to hexadecimal by repeated division of the number by 16 while recording the remainder. The remainders should be read from bottom to top. Hexadecimal number system was also developed by grouping binary digits together. Follow these steps to convert binary numbers to hexadecimal. Starting from the least significant digit or LSB on the right, make groups of 4 bits. Add zeros to the left of MSB to make groups if you have 1, 2 or 3 bits less. Convert each group to its equivalent hexadecimal number. Write all the digits together in the same sequence as they are. To convert hexadecimal number to its binary equivalent, each hexadecimal digit is converted to its binary equivalent as per the shown table.